Google recently released a paper on one of their newest AI voice generators called Soundstorm and it's unlike anything the world has ever seen before. Honestly, Soundstorm is so realistic that it is scary to think of what this AI voice generator could possibly do if it gets into the wrong hands. If you're doubting, just listen to this. What's it about? Well, it's a parallel decoder for efficient audio generation, uh, so it can even be used yeah. to generate dialogue. This AI mimics human voices so well that it is very difficult to tell if it's AI or human. We are going to explore the features of this new AI in a bit, and I will show you some examples of how Soundstorm mimics human voices perfectly. But before we begin, welcome to the AI trend, your go-to destination for all things AI. We are dedicated to bring you the latest developments, breakthroughs, and releases in artificial intelligence technology. So subscribe and stay updated on how AI is reshaping our world. Without further ado, let's get started. If you're a huge fan of tech like I am, then you'll probably remember that in 2018, Google demonstrated its voice assistant booking a hair appointment. Fast forward to a few days ago, the tech giant released a new paper on their latest AI audio generator called Soundstorm. Soundstorm is based on a novel architecture that uses bidirectional attention and confidence-based parallel decoding to generate audio in chunks of 30 seconds. Now, essentially, this refers to a method or technique used to create sound or music using multiple computing resources simultaneously, resulting in faster and more efficient production. Think of it like this. When you're trying to generate music or sound effects using a computer program, usually this process would happen one step at a time, where each sound is generated sequentially. However, parallel audio processing allows you to generate multiple parts of the music or sound effects simultaneously by leveraging the power of multiple processors or computing units working together. It's like a system where different components come together to create a single unit, but here it is the different audio components that are being generated simultaneously with each part assigned to a separate processing unit. This parallel architecture significantly increases the speed of the overall production time of the audio. Hence, the time it would have taken to create the entire audio is reduced practically to seconds. Now, in the paper, Google's team introduces a model that can quickly create high-quality audio by using specific instructions called conditioning tokens. These tokens provide details about the desired sound or music like genre, instruments, tempo, mood, and more. The amazing thing is that they achieved this high-quality audio synthesis without needing a lot of computational resources or time. They also discussed different approaches they used to tackle this challenge, such as efficient attention mechanisms and specialized architectures for sequencing audio tokens. The authors also explain the concept of audio token sequencing, where the audio data is represented by a sequence of tokens. They use a technique called residual vector quantization or RVC to compress the audio frames and create a hierarchy of tokens. This hierarchy also allows for better organization and understanding of the different sounds in the audio sequence. By breaking down the audio data into smaller parts, the model can work with them separately, resulting in a faster and more efficient process. Their proposed method for audio generation is impressive. It can synthesize 30 seconds of dialogue in just two seconds using a single TPU-V4 hardware accelerator. Honestly, this achievement is groundbreaking because it significantly improves efficiency compared to previous methods we've seen so far. Traditionally, generating audio took much more time and computational resources. This breakthrough in audio synthesis has tremendous implications for various applications. It enables faster production of audio content, making tasks like voiceover work, audio editing, music production, and even real-time applications like speech synthesis for virtual assistants or interactive systems more efficient. In simpler terms, they've revolutionized the way we generate high-quality audio, making it faster and easier for many different purposes. Furthermore, Google's successful implementation of Soundstorm on a single TPU-V4 highlights the potential scalability and wider accessibility of their method with further advancements and distribution of such technology. Audio generation tasks that were once tedious to carry out can now be performed more efficiently on a variety of devices, including 
consumer-grade hardware. Soundstorm has a few features, which I'm going to show you right now, which are very impressive. Here, we have what we call the unprompted and prompted scenarios. In the unprompted scenario, Soundstorm has the impressive ability to generate audio without specific instructions or prompts. It can produce audio with various voices or speaking styles, showcasing its capacity to generate diverse content without explicit guidance. On the other hand, in the prompted case, Soundstorm utilizes three-second voice prompts as cues for generating audio. These prompts provide specific instructions or characteristics to guide the audio generation process. Notably, Soundstorm excels at maintaining the distinctive qualities of the specified speaker's voice, ensuring high consistency throughout the generated audio. This highlights its proficiency in capturing and reproducing the voice characteristics of a given speaker. Soundstorm is not the first text-to-audio generator out there, but it is by far the most powerful. If you compare the AI to the other models like Eleven Labs or Audio LM's Acoustic Generator, you will see a huge difference. For instance, Soundstorm generates audio almost two times faster than Audio LM's Acoustic Generator. Not just that, the audio quality surpasses that of other models out there. Eleven Labs actually comes really close, but the fact that Soundstorm can mimic expressions and sounds humans generate when speaking is just amazing. It is also worth Worth noting that the original audio samples used in these experiments were sourced from the LibriSpeech Test Clean dataset, which serves as a benchmark for evaluating the quality and fidelity of the generated audio. If you listen to the audio carefully, you will see Soundstorm's incredible ability to sample different speakers in the unprompted case and maintain consistent speaker voices in the prompted case. But as with any great piece of technology, Soundstorm has its downsides. And when I talk of downsides, I mean very huge downsides. Google did an excellent job creating Soundstorm, but I think they went too far this time. The AI is so good at replicating people's voices, and if it gets into the hands of scammers, things will really get messy. Currently, scammers have started making use of AI audio generators to disguise themselves as people's friends or family members to steal from them. And because these tools do their job too well, most people don't even know it until it is too late. According to an article published by the Washington Post, several people have already fallen for scams conducted using AI voice generators. The article talks about Ruth Card, a woman who received a call from a scammer pretending to be her grandson, Brandon, who said he was locked in jail and needed money to bail himself out. Ruth and her husband, Greg, quickly went to their bank in Regina, Saskatchewan, and withdrew 3,000 Canadian dollars, which is approximately 2,207 US dollars. Since it was the daily withdrawal limit, they hurried to a second branch for more money. However, the bank manager took them into his office and told them that it was probably a scam and the person on the phone was not their grandson. The bank manager knew this because they had a similar case not too long ago from another customer. This just goes to show how dangerous AI models can get if they fall into the wrong hands. Google is aware of the potential threats their AI could pose, so they are taking some steps to prevent cases like the one I just mentioned from happening. They tested the audio made by Soundstorm and found that a special computer program can still tell if it is fake or not with high accuracy. The research paper they released also says that using Soundstorm as a part of a larger system probably won't make things more dangerous than what the research already said. They also say that using Soundstorm can make it easier for more people to do audio research because it doesn't need as much memory or computing power. To ensure this technology is used responsibly, the authors want to find other ways to check if speech is artificially made, like adding special watermarks to the audio. They want to stick to being responsible and make sure the technology is used in a good and fair way. Final Thoughts Google keeps on changing the AI landscape with every new announcement they make. To be honest, Soundstorm is so powerful that it is almost scary. However, one thing we can be sure of is that once this tool is released, it will change the way people create content forever. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated about the latest developments in the world of AI. Also, do you think Soundstorm will be beneficial or harmful? Let us know in the comments below.